Hi, in this video we're going to look at how we represent negative numbers using uh, binary. Um, there are two methods um, which you need to be aware of. The first one is sine magnitude. Okay, so sine magnitude. And the other one is using two's complement. Okay. Both have uh, their advantages, both have their disadvantages. Um, the the best one really for most things is two's complement, but we'll look at we'll look at the reasons why in a moment. Okay, so in terms of negative numbers, um, <clears throat> the first one looking at sine magnitude. So um, let's write it up at the top here, sine magnitude. Uh, so let's test take a, a a a number. So. We want to show the value uh, 6, for example. So it's 1, 1, 0. Um, we want it to uh, be a negative number. So what we have here, let's take four bits for it. So it's 0, 1, 1, 0. That represents the number 6. We want the value minus 6. Okay, so how do we show that? Well, sign magnitude, very easy. The first bit, so the first bit, let's do a pink this first bit here let's do it a little bit smaller this first bit here represents whether or not it's a, a positive number or a negative number so if it's a zero this means it is positive if it's a one it means it's negative Okay, so to get to minus 6, what we do is we say we want it to be uh, negative, so it's going to be a 1, and then we just carry the numbers through, so 1, 1, 0. So this, this value here says that it is a negative number. Now this causes some problems because what is the difference between, if we have a 4-bit number, 1, 0, 0, uh, oops, one zero 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 and zero 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 zero. This one is obviously equal to zero, but this is also equal to zero, but it's minus zero. But can you have minus zero? Um, you know, it's not really correct. Both are the same. So effectively, what you've done here in a four-bit number, you can have. The highest number you can have is 7, and the lowest number you can have is minus 7. Okay, so that's the number range, but you've got two values in the middle which are effectively the same, so you've lost some, uh, some range, okay, which isn't very good. So sine magnitude, all you're doing is you are using the first bit, the most significant bit, to represent whether it's a positive number with a 0 or a negative number with a 1. So let's take a look at another version of um, negative numbers using binary. Okay, so we're going to look at two's complement. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so two's complement. Uh, what we do is let's take that uh, six again. So we've got the value six. So it's zero one one zero. Um, we want to turn it into minus 6, what do we do? Well, we work backwards, we go. We keep the first 0 and the first 1 the same. After the very first 1 that you reach, you then invert the other numbers. So this becomes a 0 now and this becomes a 1. So minus 6 in 2's complement is the same as saying 1, 0, 1, 0. How does it work? Well, the best way to show you is to write in um, the values of these numbers. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 4, but this one is now minus 8. Now what we do is minus 8 plus oops, nothing because there's nothing in 4 plus 2 because there's a value, there's a 1 under the 2 column plus nothing because there's nothing here well, minus 8 plus 2 is equal to minus 6. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Let's go over here. So, we have uh, the value we want to represent. Let's do 
one zero one okay uh, so this is equal to five okay um, now what we do is we want to turn it into minus five so we go up to the same one and we keep it the same in this case the one is in the first location and then we invert all the other numbers so that becomes a one that becomes a zero that becomes a one let's write our numbers above one two four and minus eight minus eight plus two plus one is equal to minus five okay and that's how it works so unlike sine magnitude let's uh, swap them around unlike sine, unlike sine magnitude uh, where you just show the negative number is represented by the the first digit or the first bit a one being a negative uh, a zero being a positive in two's complement you the first bit is the minus version of the positive and then you can just add the others and to get get the to get to the minus value you keep the first zero and, and the first one up to the same and then you invert the others so let's do one more of this just to make sure you're absolutely clear on how it works <coughs> we want to represent um, the value f minus 4 so 4 would be 0 1 0 0 so that's 4 minus 4 would be equal to 0 0 1 and then we invert the last one okay let's just check our numbers 1 2 4 minus 8 minus 8 plus 4 is equal to minus 4 so we're correct okay and that's it